Right, here he comes. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I've no wish to hurry your love, but have you seen the time? It's quarter to ten <laughs> and we're supposed to be there at nine. I don't think the register will be very <laughs> You know, I was always a big fan of Tecmo's deception games. But sometimes, a game can come along which makes you totally readdress all those games you used to like. You think to yourself, were they actually any good? Here's the story. This old king gets done in, somebody throws a knife for about 100 metres and he's back. You're the daughter? This mad cow with a purple dress on says you murdered him, and you look at the way that guy came down the stair there. Did you see that? Wind back the tape. Check this gay boy out. Let me explain the fundamental idea behind the game. You set traps. You lead people into those traps. You trigger them. Now the problem with this is you can use the same three traps again and again. Okay, sometimes you might come across a guy who is immune to a bear trap. Let me say that again. A guy who is immune to a bear trap. But essentially, you can play through this entire game with just using the same few traps. There you just saw the smash floor, which acts as a springboard. And here comes the big fiery ball. Congratulations, you have mastered the secrets of trapped. There's nothing more to learn. You're just marking time for the rest of the game. Now, you can customise your traps a wee bit. You can buy new traps. You can decide which traps to equip. But what's the point? Just keep using the same fucking three traps. Back to the story. And I'm tired of this pishing games. Japanese games always have characters who say very little to each other. Sometimes just one name. And fuck all else. See, here we are again. This is, in the, this is the screen where you can lay the traps. Here I'm laying uh, three traps, the same three traps as usual. Oh, there's a springboard, somebody flying down. <gasps> Buckle up folks, something different's happening. Yes, in the rooms there are sometimes big special traps you can activate that cause interesting things like this to happen. See, oh, no, oh, dragged into some cogs. Oh, she's looking pretty healthy. And here we go, we'll just wait for this to finish. Right, just a minute. Patience. Here. She comes. Now, wasn't that worth waiting for, folks? Oh, I'm getting angry. Now, the game may be mercifully brief, but there's lots of cutscenes <laughs> with badly designed characters. Badly translated. Regard the line I'll put into the ground. I'll put into the ground. Here we go. This is another tactic I sometimes use. You stun on the trap yourself. Spring bathy is at the same time. You don't take as much damage as the other guy. Easy peasy. No challenge. Here's a big magnet. Sucking a guy in my magnet. What am I going to do? I'm going to use my big ball. That's all you need to do. Just swap between a few different traps. Here we go. Here's another couple of people on a magnet. What will I do? That's right, folks. Big ball. Big ball in their heads. Big ball on their heads. And you can keep track of how you killed everybody. Pushed into a bear trap, fucked in and up with a big boss, same as the last guy. Pushed bear trap, big boss, same as all the other fuckers. This game is a disaster. It's no an evolution of what is a brilliant concept. It's just a paint job. Kigiro Deception 2 is where you want to go. This is exactly the same game. Although, somehow has mere charm. Oh, there's a big ball in the head. See? Nothing's changed.